Watch you guys, got another rogue removal video here for you. This one's called Smart Guard Protection. It's another new rogue that's doing the rounds on the internet and uh, if you get infected with this, then your computer's gonna be rendered useless until you remove it. As you can see here, what it's trying to do is uh, run scans on your system and saying you're heavily infected. And once it uh, finishes this scan, it's gonna give you the option to remove threats. It will remove some of the threats supposedly and then to remove the rest of them you would have to pay for it and this is how they try to hook you so you can see here we've got the general usual thing here where it blocks everything that you try to open like your browser and stuff like that reg edit and all those tools that you may need to get rid of it it will block all of those as you can see now it's found the objects here as you can see now if we uh, repair all it's now saying it's um, trying to repair it can't repair them as you can see and this is where the scam starts it will try to do all this and then it will say not repaired to do this you would need to pay for it and this is how they scam you so let this just finish and I'll show you what I mean okay so now you can see it can't repair these threats and it wants you to buy it and that's what it does and this is how they scam you into it okay so we're not going to buy that, I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. So if you want to put the activation key in, what you can do is put this activation key in and this will then allow you to run scans and download files off the internet as normal. So the key code should be on the screen right now. Now if this doesn't work then I'm going to show you how to remove it another way so don't worry about that. So there's the key code to actually activate the product and all you need to do is put that in click OK and activate it and then what it will do is it, it won't remove it from the system it will lay to run malware bytes and stuff like that okay now where this lives is actual program data and I'll show you where that is if we right click and go properties you'll see program data it's a hidden folder so we have to show that and I'll show you where the file resides so we're going to go into organize here folder and search options view show hidden files folders and drives just going to go inside here there's a translucent folder called program data and that is where the folder is with all the goodies in and this is the actual rogue right here now there's numerous ways of killing this you could write and right click and rename these and all that sort of good stuff but I'll show you another way to do it all you need to do here is open up Internet Explorer okay so what we want to do here is come up to the top and we're going to go Google and you'll see what happens it will block you but I'm going to show you a way of getting around this all you need to do here is type HTTP colon and forward slash forward slash we're going to go to um, malwarebytes.org like so now it hasn't worked but if you click on this ignore warning and visit the site not recommended we're going to click on that and it's totally safe to do so but here we can get full control of our browser so we want to come here now to where it says for home come down to other tools again it's blocked us but click on this ignore and now we can download uh, chameleon again ignore and it should let you have that file so we're just going to save that to our desktop so what we want to do now is right click on our file we've just downloaded now you can't use 7-zip or nothing like that because it will block it but what you can do is you right click on this and use extract all once you've done that this will pop up here and it says it wants to extract it to your desktop that's fine by me click extract and there we have our folder on our desktop so I'm just going to pull this down and that up a little bit so we can see what's going on so what we want to do here is click on this this will open this up like so and what we want to do is click on each one of these that's been blocked that's also been blocked and you just work through these until you get one that works and there we go that one is now starting to work 
push any key to enter and now it's starting to run Malwarebytes and download it click OK here and you'll see this top process disappear I can probably uh, move this down here now so you'll see and there we go it's killed the process it will then kick up our malware bytes and then run a scan of your system click OK and then show the results and there we can see uh, the results of our scan it's found the actual infection there and it's found some other stuff here also some stuff in the downloads folder but we're going to remove all that as well so we're just going to click on remove selection you can keep the uh, log file if you wish and then it needs to reboot the system and there we have our system back up and running now there's some other stuff on the system that you can remove like the little shortcuts you just need to do a bit of spring cleaning and tidy those up and maybe there might be a folder still somewhere if you want to remove that you can now remove that if the threat is now gone I'm going to remove that also and that's pretty much it that's how you remove the smart guard protection from your system it's pretty straightforward and easy to do so I hope this one helps you out guys Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do enjoy the video, then hit the like button, guys. It really does help me out. And also, if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos, then hit the subscribe button, and that will keep you up to date when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.